Hello and welcome to What AM, a daily look at world, national and regional news and sports, campus events and weather. I'm Alex Stone King. The most destructive wildfire in California continues to grow and Governor Gavin Newsom says things could get worse before they get better. The Kincaid Fire in Sonoma County, uh, County's wine country has burned more than 73,000 acres with dozens of homes damaged. Up to 200,000 have been forced to evacuate. Containment is at 15 per percent, but the winds forecast for today are similar to when the fire first started last week. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers says flooding along the Missouri River could continue all winter. The Corps is still releasing huge amounts of water from upstream dams as it tries to clear space in reservoirs from next spring's flooding. That will continue until mid-December. Forecasters are predicting a wetter than normal winter, meaning many locations along the river won't get any relief from the troubles caused by high water levels. A former postal worker in Pocahontas has admitted to stealing mail. 30-year-old Cassandra Rupert of Rolf pleaded guilty to theft of mail by a postal employee admitted, and admitted from, that from about February 2018 through July 28, 2018, she opened mail or stole mail. Rupert stole at least $395 along with prescription medications when she worked as a city carrier in Pocahontas. She'll be sentenced at a later date where she faces a maximum of five years in prison and a maximum fine of $250,000. We'll be right back with a look at your wet TV weather and campus events, but first here's a look at the menu for today. Western Iowa Tech's Video and Media Production Program has been awarded an Upper Midwest Emmy Foundation 2019 Student Production Crystal Pillar Award. This award was presented by the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences for Excellence in Production. Welcome back. In entertainment news, those with Apple iPhones can now text a yawning smiley face, a sloth, or an otter. Those are among the 60 new emojis released Monday, but the biggest focus is on inclusion and diversity. For example, people in wheelchairs, seeing eye dogs, and prosthetic limbs. There are also a slew of gender-neutral options and a new way to select the skin tone in the holding hands emoji. The new iOS software added a camera tool as well, allowing for artificial intelligence on the iPhone 11. Take special care of your feline friends today. It's National Cat Day. It's also a great time to adopt a cat, or if you've got one, uh, already got one, make sure it's spayed or neutered. A Hunger Games prequel film could be in the works. Director Francis Lawrence, who directed the final two films in the series, is in talk with, uh, to direct the movie. The highly anticipated prequel, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, is set 64 years before this uh, trilogy started. Taking a look at today's weather, Today will be mostly cloudy with a high of 40 degrees. Tonight will be, uh, it will continue to cloud up as it gets down to a low of 26 degrees. And tomorrow may be uh, the day to break out your winter coat if you already haven't. There's 30% chance of precipitation with a chance of snow in the morning. The high will be 35 degrees. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check up on the latest WIT TV programming at our website and our YouTube page. See you tomorrow.